input output redirection please uh, uh, you know observe carefully this sign and this sign these are the sign which are used for redirection they ha have very powerful feature operating systems uh, even uh, when such capability has not been incorporated in the program they provide you with certain capabilities and this is done through the redirection what happens is c program generally receives the input from the standard input device which is assumed to be keyboard and it will send the output to the standard output device which is assumed to be a vdu that is operating system assumes where input should come from where should input should come and where output should go so this redirection permit us to change these assumptions for instance you are using redirection the output if you use the indirection or redirection the output of the program that normally goes to the visual display unit or your monitor can be sent to the disk or the printer right even when you are not you have not made any provision in your program and this becomes quite a convenient and flexible approach right providing separate function in the program to write to the disk or printer you don't require it similarly redirection can be used also to read information from the disk file directly into the program that is instead of just receiving the input from the keyboard uh, in order to use redirection facility this is uh, we want to execute the program from the command prompt inserting this redirection symbols at appropriate places is important so let us see these in, with the help of the program we are redirecting the output how to redirect the output of the program we will take a program from the screen to the file so let us uh, have this program this is util.c you have to use this this stdio.io.h you see there is something here so this is character ch we are getting from standard input one by one character and checking it for end of file and we are putting the character one by one to the standard output here when we compile the program we have util.exe so when we execute this file this put c function will cause whatever we type to print on screen until we type the control z this is the termination of the program so control z character this is a sample run of this program this control z character is often called the end of file character so if you this just take util.exe it will show you this with control z now let us see what happens uh, when you are invoking the program in a different way using redirection so you have util.exe after that you have used this redirection operator and this is the text file so this does what we are trying to take the output to be redirected to the file which is poem.txt so can we prove this that it is indeed going to poem.txt you can use a type command just use type with poem.txt the same content would come so this result or there is the result of our typing sitting in the file the direction redirection this one causes the output or takes the output intended for the screen the video to be written to the to the file whose name follows the operator this one and you have to see that the data to be redirected to a file doesn't need to be typed by the user at the keyboard the program is doing by itself and any output which is sent to the um, screen or or you can say the video can be redirected to a disk file let us take an example which is generating the ascii table on screen so this is ascii.c we have main this is a character variable and from 0 to 255 ch++ we are just printing ch and this in the integer form the ascii form and this is the symbol so when we execute this program or when we uh, compile this program and execute it we use it using the redirection operator this is ascii.exe now we are using this redirection operator and we have table.txt so the output is written to this file and you can just capture the output in a file rather than just displaying it on the screen how helpful is this so there are various uh, uh, pre definition from the operating system the number of file names for its own use one is prl this is standing for the printer so now you can output or you can write then redirect to the printer by using the file name so if you invoke this ascii.exe which we have just seen like this ascii.exe and you use this redirection operator with prn the ascii table will be printed to the printer now how to redirect the input 
So we can also redirect input to the program. So instead of just reading the character from the keyboard, a program reads it from the file. So let us see how it is done. So in order to redirect the input, we need to have a file containing something which is which is to be displayed. Some content has to be there. So suppose we have a file called this and it contains some lines. So we'll assume that using some text editor, this we have placed content inside this and we use this now in this input, this operator before the file. So we have this cutil.exe. Now this is the operator before new poem.txt and this content will be shown. So the lines are printed on the screen with no further effort on our part. And this using the redirection, we have made our util.c or util.exe perform the command function which is the type command because it is showing the content. You want to use the redirection operator inputting and outputting, you can use them together. So redirection of input and output can be used together. The input from the program can from come from file via redirection at the same time and the output, output also can be redirected to a file and this program is called as a filter. Let us see a command. This is our program util. This is new poem.txt. So you are taking the content of new poem.txt and transferring it to poetry.txt. So in this, the program received the redirected input from the file which is pointed by this one instead of just sending it to the output or a video and it would direct, redirect to the poetry.txt and we can also send the contents of file this one to the printer. How? Take the content in the util and transfer it to the PRN. So we can use the multiple redirection but don't try to send output to the same file from which you are receiving input. Why? This is because the output file is erased before it's written to. So by the time you are trying to receive the input from the file, it is already erased. So this is a very powerful tool for developing the utility uh, programs, especially if you are dealing with data, examining and altering the data in the file. So this redirection is a very good idea to establish relationship between a program and a file. There is one more operator that can be used to relate to programs directly, which is the pipe operator, right? So that we can output one, uh, one which is fed directly into another and with no files at all involved in between. This is the piping and this is the operator we use. This is called the pipe. 